tire's getting dusty now, but I've got a windows either side and I've got a fan for later when it when I start to really knock it out. Anyway, just to show you, so I've cleared it just so I can see what I'm dealing with. And what I'm dealing with, I think, is quite a, it's not a bad situation. It looks quite easy to take apart. So here's roughly where the window is going to end. I've marked it up on the ceiling there. And then, so I'm going to go in 30. So I've got to take all this out. This is it. When I take these out, I'm going to try and save a lot of these bricks because I can use them, I don't know, outside, garden wall, something like that. So I'm going to try and save as much as I can. I'll try and pull this lens out in one piece so you can see it. There's lots of these uh, hollow bricks through, which is okay. They just smash apart. You saw that on the other wall. And I still haven't seen if there's a, a cavity yet. I, I haven't got that far in to see if there's, a, if there's a cavity. I don't think there will be. You're getting the gist of this one. This is, I was up at first light getting all set out and it's Saturday morning. So my plan, I've got the fridge full of food, loads of water, because if something goes wrong today, as in I mess up the roof slightly, at least I've got two full days without stressing about being like, you know, hungry, thirsty, and I'm to go out to the shops and leave the house. So I've got a full weekend at it to, to get it done. I don't know what time it is now. It's just after 8.30, I think, in the morning. It's hot. And about the noise, I was concerned about making the noise early, but the farmers have been out since before first light. Anyway, that aside, uh, Feels good, feels all right. Mind you, as good as this tool is, it doesn't take long for it to get heavy when you're working like above chest height. I might sort out my man boobs, eh? quite a big piece. I think it's just going to fall. I, I've propped everything. Right. Right. So, it worked. There you go. It was two pieces. That's the outside one, which is good. God, my heart skipped a beat then. I don't know if that's into the sunlight and the lens looks filthy already. I'll have to get the GoPro because this camera's... Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll get the other camera. Well, I was dealing with this side before I went too far the other side. So I think what I might do is expose, take all the render off this side so I can see the brick and then start taking it out slowly. Prop it this side as well as the other side. This one's taking me a while because it's a big, big learning curve. I've Googled a lot. I've watched a few videos, YouTubes and stuff, but you know, we all love YouTube. I mean, that's why I'm on here for God's sake. You kind of only learn on the job, don't you? So I jump in the deep end and start swimming piece. Kind of done that my whole career anyway. It's like, you know, put yourself forward for things and deal with it in the moment. Plan ahead, obviously, but don't overthink things. Let's just go for it. Yeah, you can watch a million and one YouTube videos on how to do this, but there's nothing quite like first time is there. Like the plastering. Anyway, this is going well so far. It's 10 a.m. Time check. Oh, it's hot. Okay, let's crack on. Urgh. 
are gutted. I don't know what I was going to use them for anyway. I think I've got to change my plan because I thought it was an internal and external piece, should we say. But what I think is actually the bricks are spanning right the way through. These bricks, things like this, they go right the way across. It's not as if they're in line with the house. They go from inside to outside. So I thought if they were going across, I could have just pulled the inside ones away. Inside, um, you know what I mean, away. And that would allow me to work on the inside. But now I've got to kind of break a brick break all the bricks in half to work on the inside. Um, so I'm wondering if I just absolutely prop everything properly, prop it properly, fully prop it, and then I can just smash this out comfortably, really. Um, I've marked where the window is gonna be. And it's getting that out. And I think it'd be easy then. Once that's out, I can, I think I can relax then, because the structure has been removed and if the roof is still up then hey we'll have lunch all right that should now just pop out because it's floating everything else looks solid so let's get it out okay i'm glad that came out in one go. I was worried that was going to yes. fall off. Fine, I'm not worried about the roof. But it's one of those um, comedy moments, not so funny, where you hits the floor, bounces, knocks the two acro props out of the way, roof comes down. All right, milestone one, roof still up and there's no lintel in place. So that's good progress. All right, let's crack on. that up, pack it up, and then that's uh, ready to set in. I've got two of them, which are just holding that brick line up, which would be loads, no problem, and that's good. And then it might be time for lunch. There's lizards or little geckos everywhere today. Now I've got that main line supported, and I can set that in then and prop it on the outside. I think the whole roof is great. And then I can start chipping away at the inside and put those beams in. And that's where I want to get to by the end of the day is have the beams in. Won't be finished as in like, you know, totally finished and, and sealed in and whatnot. But they'll be rock solid in situ, in place. And then uh, make the window opening tomorrow. You're not going to believe it. I let this thing go off. Oh, what a waste. Oh my. There's a phrase from the north of England, I don't know if it's from Yorkshire or Lancashire, might even be wrong with those two regions anyway, and it's um, dip your bread in, or oh, I think it's for like when you have pie and chips or something with a gravy, <laughs> but I think it's made for this, this is uh, burrata with, um, burrata with uh, tomatoes and you just got to dip your bread in at the end, it's just too good, it's ridiculous. That's it, tomatoes and cheese, simple. It's that blue sky all around, like horizon all around. And right overhead is this. 
I think I'm going to stay out in it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, I left my towels out. I'll just stand out here for 10 minutes and uh, cool down before the humidity arrives, I suppose. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Uh, it's really coming down now. Oh, there you go. Just to say that, stopped. We'll stop in. Oh, well, that lasted. 35 seconds. All right, fun over. Still got a lot to do. And, uh, what's the time now? It's about four-ish. Still Saturday. It's um, 6 p.m. now. Uh, it's taken me a few hours to chip away at the bits that I needed to clear just to get the main beam in properly. I didn't want to have any little snaggy bits that make it all lumpy and in the way. I had to be gentle. It was near the roof so I didn't want to break the roof tile and I didn't want to damage what I did this morning. But after the rain earlier, oh, it's humid and I'm wiped out. I'm exhausted. I've just taken a, a long drink of that um, electrolyte stuff as well because I don't know how much I've drunk today. I, a lot, hell of a lot of water, and I'm just constantly thirsty. So I oh, see clearly dehydrating, um, which is all right, no danger. I, you know, I've got all the, I've got all the stuff here, and the signs are the signs are clear. So uh, I'll just slow down. I got as far as I wanted to get today, which is <laughs> it's just standard, isn't it? Don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, just uh, do the house in a week, the whole thing. It's gone really well, I should say. I was quite concerned about how the roof was going in into the bricks and then when it disappeared and I thought have I actually got any room to work with so that's come out really nice I said it's taking me all day I only got one little shave on my finger which isn't too bad probably looks like carnage um, but yeah I think it's in a good spot for the evening so six ish I think what I'll do is try and cut the cut the, the frame of the beam thing tonight Fackle it in the morning. I think if I go too far tonight, it's too important to mess up. And then I can have a nice early night and I can get going at six, I suppose, because no banging. So that's, that's the new plan. As ever, the plans change. shower and a snack might have one one and a bit glasses of wine I'll be in bed by eight as soon as that sun goes down book bed and then at it tomorrow so it was a good day I just pooped um, I don't know if it's sort of like stress tires you out a bit more as well some you know, those jobs are easy first time are they um, but I'm pleased I did it on that room. Made a, oh, a massive mess, but it'll give me the confidence now to do the one in the lounge, and I can I can now see the uh, bits I need to get because um, I've got less room to play with in the lounge, less head height. I say the lounge. What we have about the uh, the kitchen area with, with the doors going. So slowly, slowly, and all that. Um, it's been really good. See, I'm pleased with the result. I just didn't get as far as I wanted to, which is the story. This was a cheap three euros. So let's give it a go. It's got the label on it, the DOCG label, which, you know, you watch your fancy schmancy people on social media and they say, hey, get one of those labels on it. I don't know, 20 quid. Yeah, so, smells like wine. And it tastes like wine. End of review. Wow.
Oh wow, this is hard work, this is hot. So, I think the reality of, of this is still really early. I don't know what time it is, say 9 a.m., maybe a bit earlier. And because it's so hot, as good as the mask is, you obviously know, restricts your breathing. You can only go for like a few minutes at a time. So it feels like it's taking forever. But it's not really a slow progress. Maybe I'm overheating because I definitely need my haircut. God. Anyway, um, it's going really well. I don't know what it looks like your end, but I'm really pleased that this structure, the main lintel, is really solid. This is just um, I'm going to attach something this side and attach something this side. It's just more aesthetics. It's not that supporting, should we say? Well, it's got an element of support to it but the main thing now and I'm really pleased that it's it's solid it's good um, so my plan is to shape the window that today and render it all nice so it's a it's a nice level top two sides and base to work from um, and I can let that dry then and my daughters are flying down tomorrow morning So uh, they can have some fun trying to help me lift the window in. That's the plan, but sitting here, how can I make a window seat actually? Moody, rainy day in the winter. God, this is going to be amazing. It's going to be so good. So hard work, but the reward is there. A little bit of a new problem really or a new challenge because I've been let down quite a few times now about the field and the the, the uh, landscaping so I haven't, I haven't filmed that bit yet um, but I'm having a real trouble getting it going yeah I'm either gonna have to hire the machine myself and do it all myself or might even be cheaper to buy 
buy a second hand one anyway we'll cover that another day my idea for the rubber was to use it for for the base of like the deck and the steps the raised the uh, outside kitchen's going to go so there's plenty of places to dump it um but because it's not happened i haven't actually got anywhere sensible to dump it i don't know where to move it a lot of it's inside a bit more outside and i've still got that old pile which is from when i took the kitchen wall out that's still I put that in the wrong place, you see, so I don't know how to add to that. So it's like, what to do? It's a lot of weight in a wheelbarrow and around. It's exhausting. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just too tired. I just can't figure out what to do with it. I'm staring at it and coming up with nothing. <laughs> it's as if I now need to do another job, as in create space for it all, move it again. But that's wasting half a day or two days, which I haven't got. I think I'm going to use the side of the uh, outhouse here temporarily. Here's a top tip for you. Not a how-to channel, but if you ever find yourself in a crazy situation like this where you're uh, wrecking your own home, um, put something down on the mud because picking up rubble off mud with a spade is impossible. You've got to move it twice. The end snapped off. Lamps, I think. Why? 
only got a few offcuts. And I don't think this offcut is wide enough really to sort of make a frame. What I'm trying to do is um, get a straight line to cement to. So I can build this out solid. And uh, just have something to skim up to because it's very uneven obviously. I can't find any wider wood. And unfortunately I smashed a bit too much away. But we'll get, you know, it'll still work. I only need the one edge to go to, don't I? Go in. Uh, yeah. It's just a guide. Oh. Still close. Okay. Good. So they do in the trade, yeah? No no comments. Be nice, come on. No, everyone is nice in the comments, Joe. I get a couple of people that, you know, say stuff. Uh <laughs> Starting to overheat, so took the boots off. These ice creams are these ice creams are really good. Mm. So, so far so good, I think. It's going to be amazing, isn't it? getting really late in the day now and I'm a bit pooped. I'm trying to fill a lot of these holes I take my time just to push um, some, cement, some cement into them just to give a foundation to get a nice smooth layer on. This is where I'm going to attach the window to. I guess I've got to choose one or two spots that I'm going to drill into and um, I'll mark those out and then I'll make sure they're really packed because that'll be the bit that's holding the screws that's going to hold the window. Half hour ago, I was sat on the deck area just trying to cool down. So I just had a look. I was at three showers today so far. I thought oh, I could, this is I can have a glass of wine now. Um, but you keep going, and you feel better about it. It's so easy to give up, isn't it? So easy to stop. Well, I'll stop later. Obviously, I'm not going to go all night. But um, and I will have a glass of wine. <laughs> But I have had a few days, I'll be honest, where I have stopped. So I'm tired, I'm making bad decisions, I'm... I'll catch up. And, uh... yeah, it's not brutal, you haven't got to keep going, but you kind of have got to keep going, haven't you? Just little by little. And I'll be pleased to have done this now, because you know, this will be dry, very dry in the morning and I can work over the top of it then. Start to get this side really smooth. Ready for the window. All right, one more mix, one more of this size thing, and then I think I'll call it a day. It'll be smoother by the time I finish.
time for wine. <laughs>